Hi, boys, it's a go. One night out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. Now I'd like to talk about the best desert levels from most Mario games. Um, I don't have every single Mario game. This will just be from a lot of Mario games because I do have a lot of them. It'll just be from the ones I have. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. I'll be talking about the best desert levels in most in most Mario games. So, without further ado, let's go. The first game we're gonna look at is um is the the 1996 version Mario game called the Super Mario 64 that came out in 1996 on the Nintendo 64. If I had to pick um excuse me. If I had to pick my favorite desert level in this game, I would definitely have to go with the one and only desert level it has. I would definitely go with the one and only desert level it has if I had to pick my favorite desert level in this game. And the desert level this game has is Shifting Sand Land, so I'd go with that. That's my favorite desert level in Mario 64. And this one is unique. They use the same music as they do on Lethal Lava Land. Same for what they do on Shifting Sand Land. Yeah, you have mazes you go through. You have this, they can easily make it up with a triple jump dive. You have the wing cap here. And you have a star here you can get. And this is just, um, probably the best desert level there is. And then that's all I really have to say about Super Mario 64. Now we're going to move on to the next game. I know Super Mario Sunshine don't really have any levels that are specifically considered desert levels, but there's a level that fits well with a desert. And that is the one and only shine in the game that is close to being a desert level. And I thought I might as well include this. And that is, um, and that is the Sand Bird is Born, which is the fourth shine of Gelato Beach. What's unique about this one is the first part of it, you go through a beach, of course. But that's not the most unique part yet. The most unique part is, um, is up here. Where if, after going up there, you go, um, to the most unique part, which is where you go into, um, where you go up this way in order to get to um, this part right here. The same bird I thought was a really cool level whenever I first played it. It's, it's very hard, but it's also really cool. It's very tough if you're playing it on your first time, but I did think it was cool when I played it, so I thought I might as well include it. So once you go inside here, you get to the sand bird that's in the sky. And here you have to collect eight red coins in order to get your uh, shine. But the sand bird tilts on its side, making it extremely challenging. And you can die with one fell swoop on this level because this level is really... Um, Still very hard. Like this level can be really hard like that. But the easiest way to do it is to use the flood pack. And 
And then you have to go this way. And then that's all I'm gonna say. Now we're gonna move on to the next game. Alright, so if I had to pick a desert level from New Super Mario Bros. DS that I really like, I'll just have to go with World 6-A. Because this one's very unique. You see mountains in the background, which you don't see mountains at many deserts. And this is what makes this one unique. Because I love the uniqueness of this level. Because it's just so unique and it's so fun and it has a good balance of like fun and stuff to do. And then, um, it's just really fun, and you have these whirlwinds right here that will throw you up. And then, and then you just have to dodge these. You have Lakitu's you have to dodge. If you get stuck here, you have to go through a pipe to get out. That's your only way out is through a pipe and to go to the bottom screen and then go back like that. But, and that's the challenging part of this level. Otherwise, this level is really, really fun. And that's all I have to say about New Super Mario Bros. DS, so now we're going to move on to the next game. You know I'll include something from Super Mario Galaxy in this video, especially since this game is my favorite Mario game. Especially since it is my favorite Mario game, so if I had to include something from Super Mario Galaxy, I would definitely have to pick its one and only desert level, Dusty Doom Galaxy. Because Dusty Doom Galaxy is very unique in the design and stuff. Excuse me, with the way it's played. It even has a speedy comet. And it even has a couple of stars that you collect. And it just looks bright and beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And it just looks so sharp. And um, it just looks so good. So this definitely has to be my favorite um, desert level from Super Mario Galaxy. Because you start out in this place with the, with the pokies and stuff. And you have to kill that pokey right there. Which is the red pokey. And then once you kill him, you have to go on to this launch star. To get to this area. And then you have to go here and get to this area like this. And then once you're over here, you gotta go through here and and then you gotta collect the star chips. And in order to get the last star chip, you have, it's in the treasure chest, so use the Koopa shell. And then you just grab it right here. And after that, you just use the pull stars to move. And then you have two ways you can go right here make, for this star, at least, making it... At least for the second star of the galaxy, making it unique. And it is one of the more unique desert levels I've ever played. Like it is really, really unique. And then after going through this part, you have different parts of it that are really, really fun.
And here's the ending of it where you have the star up here, but you have to activate the tower that you have to stand on to get to it first in order to get it. Um. And you do it, um. By going this way, then you have to switch to ground pound in order to do that. That's what makes this desert level really, really awesome. Just look how beautiful it looks and stuff like that. It's just awesome. And there we go. That's all I have to say about Super Mario Galaxy, so now we're going to move on to the next game. Actually, never mind. There's one more in Super Mario Galaxy. Haven't thought about it, but there's one more. I made a mistake. I also like the Saiyan Spiral Galaxy. This is another one I really like. <laughs> Because here you have the option of either B Mario or Boo Mario. But going with Boo Mario is a recommended power up because it's more doable with, with Boo Mario. And, um. And you just have to dodge the light with Boo Mario. And then you have these flood nozzles that will come at you like that. And then once you get here, you will have a rainbow star you use to get the power power star. Galaxy. Now we're gonna move on to the next game. New Super Mario Bros. Wii definitely has um, a desert level I want to talk about. And the um it, it only has one desert level we're gonna talk about. That is World 2-6. And um the main reason I picked 2-6 is because it's athletic level, even though it's an, it's an athletic thing, desert level. <laughs> Excuse me. As the block right here like you had in Super Mario Sunshine. Except this is kind of like the same bird level in Mario Sunshine, but easier. And it's just easier. And then, you have, and then you use this P-Switch to get to the secret exit in order to do it more easily. And you just ride this platform throughout the level. But another way you can do the secret exit is just by doing it without the P-Switch like this. Hmm. 
or you can bounce. But off the chain, the fire chomp. And that's all I'm saying about New Super Mario Bros. We now are gonna move on to the next game. Super Mario Galaxy 2 definitely has a level I want to talk about. Which, the desert level in this game I want to talk about is actually, um, Slip Sand Galaxy. What makes this one so unique is, um, this is the only desert level there is in this game. And plus, it's really fun to play because of the challenges they put you up against, making it really, really fun to play. And you can see it right here. It's super fun. Like it is. And they put you up against the, uh, the different challenges right here. You have extremely fast moving sand. As you can see right here. And if you go in this pipe, you get here. Where you can use some wall jumps and a technique to get inside this pipe. And then you... And then it just looks beautiful. It just looks awesome. And the music is pretty cool too. And you have a sand, this you have a sand bird in this one too. Similar to what you had in Super Mario Sunshine, but easier to ride on. Um, and you have to watch out for the cacti right there as well as um, the the camics. To watch out for the camex right there. And you have to really watch out for the camex right there, as you can see. <laughs> and you just have to watch out for them right there, and it's just. This level's just really sassy, like it really is. And you just have to really watch out for them. And you have this part right here. The final part is where you have this chomp they have to dodge. This golden chomp. He reminds me of a golden doodle, which is... That's all I have to say about Galaxy 2. Now we're going to move on to the next game. Super Mario 3D Land has one level I want to mention, which is what, Special World 6-1. It's a nighttime desert level. One of the only ones you see in Mario history. Even here, there's a propeller box and everything like that. Excuse me. And it's just awesome. As you can see right here. It is super awesome. It is super duper awesome just like that. As you can see right there. It, and you just have to, and you have spikes in here. And it's just awesome. You just do that, and that's all you do. That's all you have to worry about, and it's awesome. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about 3D Land. Now we're gonna move on to the next game. New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS definitely has a desert level I want to talk about, and that level is actually World 2-1. And it's pretty much 
the only desert level we're gonna talk about in this game. Cause this one's really fun, it's just awesome. Really fun to speed run and really easy to speed run too. Like it really is, and you just have to go through here, and there you go. But you get introduced to my favorite power up in the game, the gold flower. And it's just really, really awesome. And the, there you go. It's just super awesome. You just get introduced to it. And there we go. That's all I have to say about this level. So now we're going to move on to the next game. New Super Mario Bros. U definitely has a level I want to talk about, and the only level I'm going to talk about is Stone Eye Zone. This level has a unique background where you see some ice cream in the background, and it's just awesome. This level's just super awesome. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. Because you have this background, you have these palm trees, and, you, and it's speedrunnable. And it's easy to speed run. And you have these sand sprouts. Mm -hmm. This one's impressive. Um, I said that Shifting Sand Land from Super Mario 64 might be my favorite desert level, but this one's definitely close second. That's all I have to say about New Super Mario Bros. U. Now we're going to move on to the next game. Super Mario 3D World has one level I want to talk about, which is Contador Canyon, which is World 2-1. This is a very unique desert level. I really love this one. It's fun. Excuse me. So, as you can see here, this one's personally a really fun desert level. Because it's fun to speed run through. And you have the cock doors. And it's the only desert level in Mario 30 World, which is the sequel to Super Mario 30 Land. Um, and it's um, awesome. That's all I have to say about it. So now we're moving on to the next game. Super Mario Odyssey only has one desert level in the game, so the only one I'm going to talk about is just the Sand Kingdom, which is really, really awesome because it's just really awesome to explore in. Exploring here is fun. And I just really love this kingdom. It's just super awesome. What's awesome about it is, uh, is you have these bolt bills here, and you, just, and you have platforming sections. You have these sand things that come up. Actually, since I thought about it, this is my favorite desert level. At first. I have, a, I have a hard time deciding if this is my favorite desert level or if it's, um, uh, or if it's Shifting Sand Land from Super Mario 64. I, that could go back and forth. Because they're both really good desert levels. There we go, and you have Glide on here. And it's awesome. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and let me know down in the comments below which one of these was your favorite.
Um, and also... Have a wonderful... Not tonight. Sleep well. Peace, Republic of Jordan.